There are many games on Kickstarter, including Bloodsport, the ultimate in immersive gaming, but it was suspended, and uh, here's a video that might give you a hint as to why. We use an Arduino board between the two systems to regulate how much blood is actually being pulled every time you get hit. As you play, all the blood filters into sterilized collection bags, the kind you'd see at your local blood bank. <laughs> Our goal is to take blood sport to clinics across the country so you can take part in blood donation gaming events. With Canada's shortage in the blood supply, don't wait for blood sport to come out. Grab your buddies, go down to your local donor clinic, and see who gets dizzy first. Ah, oh, man. I don't like it. <laughs> so, um, this was suspended after collecting $3,390 of their $250,000 Canadian uh, goal. Canadian. I, well, I had to say Canadian, because that's... Blame that's, Canada. No, don't. <laughs> I love Canada. Uh, what the thing is, is so they were hoping to connect this, maybe you were playing a game of Call of Duty or something, and whenever you take like a hit in the game or an injury in the game, it would blood, draw blood from you in real life. Okay, so I'm trying not to be squeamish about this. I've had blood drawn before. I had to sit perfectly still with my arm in a certain position, not gripping a game controller and in the midst of focusing on something else and moving. It seems like... Ah, clearly not the best idea. Yeah, I definitely, I move a lot when I play games. I am a sort of like, I, I lean appropriately, assuming that will somehow propel I mean, my character in the like right direction. Stick, and I just imagine just like <laughs> yanking it out as I attempt to throw my controller somewhere. Well, I'm also um, wondering too be, of, of if, it, if it matters, and I don't know scientifically, and, and maybe there are people in the comments that could, that could describe this further, but... I mean, if your blood is pumping as much as it is when you're playing a shooter, like Call of Duty specifically is what they're talking about, if you are, if you're doing that, will that change uh, the way you're your right. blood is collected? Uh, what what you're letting out in your bloodstream at that mm -hmm. time, like what kind of endorphins or whatnot? I don't know exactly. I don't know science well, super well, but maybe just even your stress on your own muscles right. at that moment. You know, maybe that's not the best time to have a needle in your arm. <laughs> Huh? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe Nothing. not needle in your arm while you're gaming. I, I get what I get. I get what they were going. <laughs> yeah, I get absolutely. It. I see. I understand. I, understand. I see that they were trying to be like, how can we turn this bloody sport into Ooh. charity? But these guys were actually. Um, they were responsible for two other video game stunts in, in, in 2009 and, 20, and 2010. Mm -hmm. They were responsible for other things. So it's not like these guys, I mean, maybe they've turned a corner. Maybe they turned a corner and they're like, you know what, we're going to do stuff for good. But the other ones they had was like, you got tased every time something happened. You were like sitting oh, yeah. in a chair and you got tased. Did you guys see this? I've heard of it. They had like, th they were not nice things that they've done. So, so I, I think that they've always been about the shock effect. Really um, visceral punishments. Visceral, exactly. Visceral shocking punishments of, of your gaming experience, which is kind of the thing that, the reason why we play games is so that we don't actually have to physically endure any of that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, well, Okay, I'm I'm all in for immersive gaming. This sure. is too much, and also it's possibly dangerous. <laughs> Extremely dangerous. I mean, if you want to give blood, give blood. Or if you want a gaming themed blood drive, do that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, they said that they were going, they were trying to raise money to um, to give these machines mm -hmm. to different gaming companies or different uh, organizations that would travel around and would do events. So this wasn't like it was something that was going to be at home. Um, that's at least what their statement was after they got in trouble. Um, so I'm not sure exactly, but um, this just, it just seems like shock effect. And just because you can put something on Kickstarter doesn't mean that you should. Uh, or it will be suspended, and then Kickstarter won't mention why because they have, have a policy of uh, not commenting on suspensions. Yeah. And but we can guess on our own, and we can probably have a pretty good idea of why it was suspended. But do you think that there is an actual good use for blood sport? Would you go to a blood drive that used that? Let us know mm -hmm. what you think below in the comments, and please subscribe for more.